Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. This video is dedicated to my friend Gaby Orso from Argentina. Hola, los saluda Leila Torres. Este video lo dedico a mi amiga Gaby Orso de Argentina. We are going to be folding this owl. We can use it as an envelope for a gift card. It can be used as a graduation present. To make this owl, we need four pieces of paper, one rectangle and three little squares. The rectangle is made by dividing in a half one office piece of paper, eight and a half by eleven. And we have the right size. Colorful paper like this is ideal. The owl can be made also with A4, the European paper, also divided in a half. For the eyes and the beak, we need squares of paper 1 inch by 1 inch, or 2.5 centimeters square. We can cut out these squares from an old magazine. If we have Duo color paper, we can omit the inserts for the eyes. We are going to begin by folding the eyes and the beak. I'm going to demonstrate that using bigger pieces of paper. This gray paper will be for the eyes. If you are familiar with the preliminary base, Make yourself two with the smaller pieces of paper and skip to about minute three. We begin on the gray side in this case and make the diagonal folds. We turn it over and make the central lines that are parallel to the edge. Once here we leave it folded, we pick it up by the folded edge and we bring the two flaps together so that we collapse it into what is called a preliminary base. We need to have two flaps on this side and two flaps on this side, and this is the shape. For the beak, it's going to be very easy. We are going to fold it in a half. And bring each side of the folded edge. To meet with each other. I repeat here with the smaller piece of paper. We set them aside. For the body, we begin by turning the paper so that it's horizontal. And we are going to mark the centers here. Now we bring the edge to that pinch mark, rotate and repeat. Now on this end we are going to bring this edge to align with that central line. And same here. Open. We are going to push from here and reverse the folds so that we get this flap. At this point we are going to open again and we are going to proceed to 
insert the beak. We need to make sure to have this piece of paper so that we can see the ballet folds here. Then we open a little bit and we are going to insert it to this edge of the paper so that those valley folds align exactly with the folds underneath. Then we close. And go back to the previous step. Now we're going to be aligning this edge here and this edge here. I like to pull them both at the same time, hold in place with my thumb and push in this area so that I can flatten. At this point, we're going to go back to our previous step. We just push from here and flatten these tips like this. We have these new lines here and we have this central point. Now we are going to be bringing the lower edge so that it aligns with that point. Okay. For the next fold, our guidelines will be this point and this point. We are going to fold from there to here and from there to here. It can be a little tricky. And we're going to use that fold later. For the moment, we are going to leave it like that. So, so we are going to proceed to work on the area of the eyes and bring these flaps back and collapse as we had done previously. And then we have these flaps. We are going to fold them along here. here and then we're going to create a fold from this point up same here to the other side now we're going to identify some packets here So we're going to insert our finger and squash. Now we have these flaps, we're going to fold them up, creating a fold from this point to this point. Now we are ready to insert the pieces for the eyes. We have a larger piece of paper here to facilitate the demonstration. We identify this packet here. It goes all the way underneath. And we are going to insert this flap, this flap, and slide it up as far as it goes. Same here.
Now we are going to bring this flap over and this flap over and we create a valley fold here. Hold, we can hold this flap and bring it over so that this fold falls exactly on that one. Actually, this can go a little beyond to allow for the thickness of the paper. Just a tad more. Same here. Just a little bit more. And now this edge will align here. And actually this can be aligned a little less. We lift a little space here. We hold the left eye with our index finger and we pull the beak up so that we hide the layers of the eyes underneath. And then open again and our eyes are finished. We continue here with our previous piece. We have this fold existing. We can choose to just fold it up, tuck it underneath, and leave it like this. Or we can choose to use the previous folds and give the owl more body. We follow those lines, bring the flap up, tuck it underneath, and flatten on these sides. Turn it over. And now we're going to create a fold that comes from here down and from here down. And the guidelines will be that point and this edge here will be parallel to this. And we mirror here. Now, in order to insert the card, we gently open and hold from here, insert the card and reclose. This owl makes a great graduation present. Thank you. This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com.